it's been really long, it's, you know, it's, it's really damaged me. And also when I was taking them, I'd get stomach aches, I'd feel irritable and just miserable, really, really uncomfortable. What would you say, I mean, Lorna's described the symptoms. It's easy to hear, if, if you're suffering with anorexia or, or bulimia, to say, OK, yeah, fine, I know, I know it's tough, but I, I desperately want to lose weight, I desperately want to be thinner. What would you say to someone who perhaps is listening now and considering using this method? Just don't do it. Just it will ruin everything and the thing is you know you'll get addicted because you know you get the rush and then you will want to keep using them and then it will seriously damage your body and if anyone you know is taking them I think just speak out you know you're not alone and you can get help. Did you bulk buy them? I mean, we, the, the report talks about you know where where are they bought from how do you get them was anyone when you bought them you buy, I don't know if you're buying them over the counter were, were people asking you why you want them was there any scrutiny? Um, I've never once got asked. I mean, I was buying them for five years and not once was I ever asked. And I mean, at 12 years old, you can see that someone's, you know, really young. So, but no, never once was That's asked. really shocking, isn't it? It is. It is. But there is no legislation to prevent retailers from selling to anybody any amount. But common, you common sense would hope that I, I don't yeah. know how you looked when you were 12 years old, but someone looking at a 12-year-old yeah. child buying something that would naturally follow you'd want to know they will want to know those ask those questions but they don't no i would have they thought don't. it was you know make alarm bells ring in your head you know why is someone so young buying so many you know tablets of any mm. sort so mm. thank you both very much for your time this morning you. uh, breakfast has spoken to boots in the supermarkets they've said they comply with um, current regulations sainsbury's is going to remind staff in meetings this week to be more vigilant about customers bulk buying laxatives boots is providing further staff training and if you want to see the full report tonight fiona phillips is on watchdog at eight o'clock on bbc one Coming up, BBC News Channel, of course, has all the latest news on the way. Um, response to the latest case of Ebola after a second nurse was infected. Time now, though, to get the news, travel and weather where you are. We'll see you soon. Good morning from the East Midlands. I'm Emily Anderson. A hospital trust is paying more than £3 million every month because private money was used to rebuild one of its hospitals. Work to upgrade Kingsmill at Sutton in Ashfield finished three years ago. But as part of a private finance initiative, the trust has huge debts, which it must pay for another 30 years. Ashfield Liberal Democrats found out through a Freedom of Information request. They say they're shocked at the findings. My father was recently in there, I was walking past brand new wards which are closed because the hospital can't afford to maintain them. My residents have got their nose pressed up against the doors and windows of the finest hospital building in the country that the hospital can't afford to finance. And I would far rather cancer treatments, renal treatments, things like that brought back to Kingsmill Hospital so that local people can use those services um, and that money that's going into private companies come back to Nottinghamshire. In a statement, the Sherwood Forest Hospitals Trust has said the costs of rebuilding the hospital didn't have a financial impact on frontline services. More than 9,000 homes are to be built in the Amber Valley area of Derbyshire over the next 14 years. As part of the plan, hundreds of homes will be built on the Kedleston estate near Derby. Some councillors and members of the public walked out because they were unhappy at the way the Borough Council meeting was being run last night. A government inspector had ruled that more space for housing was needed. Carl Froch will follow in the footsteps of Torval and Dean, Sir Paul Smith and Brian Clough later today when he becomes a freeman of the city of Nottingham. The world champion boxer will receive the city's highest honour in recognition of his sporting achievements. More than one and a half thousand free tickets have been handed out for a ceremony at the Royal Concert Hall this evening. Now let's see what's coming up on BBC Radio Leicester this morning. Here's Jonathan Lampon. Good morning. Soldiers from all over the world made a valuable contribution to the Great War. But now, 100 years after World War I, we'll be looking at the valuable contribution made by Sikh soldiers to the Allied campaign. Also this morning, a children's book on gambling. It sounds controversial, but is it really? And looking after your skin in the winter. And I'm including the guys in that too. Some travel news. In Leicestershire, one lane's closed on the A42 southbound because of an accident between the junction for Castle Donington and Ashby. Now time for a look at the weather. Here's Charlie.
Good morning to you. Quite a nice day in front of us, mainly dry. Just a couple of showers to look out for as we make our way through this morning. But those showers are light and drizzly in the main. Maybe just a couple of heavier ones through parts of Derbyshire and northern Nottinghamshire. But otherwise, it is a mainly dry day. Occasionally a bright one by this afternoon as well. But there was a good deal of cloud around. Temperature 16 degrees Celsius, 61 Fahrenheit though. Looking pretty good on that side of things. Should actually feel really quite pleasant. Some rain tonight, but largely clear by Friday. And we look like we're in for another dry day for Friday as well. That's all from the East Midlands so far this morning. I'll be back with another update in half an hour. Now it's back to Charlie and Nagger for the latest national headlines. Hello, this is Breakfast with Nagger Manchetti and Charlie State. Time now.